Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Cloud screencast. In this screencast, we'll be checking out how to run and back up a LAMP stack using Ubuntu Server on the Amazon EC2 Cloud. So that's some best practices for running and backing up your LAMP environment on the cloud. For that, we'll be making use of some scripts from the article Running MySQL on Amazon EC2 with EBS, written by um, Eric Hammond. Eric is an active member of the Ubuntu Cloud community. He's always around helping new pe people and members and blogging about cloud technologies. Um, Eric has also written a tool called EC2 Consistent Snapshot that you can find on his site, elastic.com. Um, we're going to be using this tool, EC2 Consistent Snapshot, for, for purposes of, uh, of backing up our instance. So as it stands, I have an instance running. It's running a um, WordPress blog as a sample uh, LAMP application that we, uh, that we are going to be backing up. Um, things I'm going to do in order are attach an EBS volume to the instance. Um, this is going to hold my SQL data. Um, I'm going to run a script to migrate my SQL over to that volume, formatted as XFS. Um, and you know, generally storing the database over a separate volume is best practice. Um, and after I migrate the database, I'm going to use the EC2 Consistent Snapshot tool to perform clean backup. What clean backup means is that it, it flushes the database tables to disk, it flushes and freezes the file system, and after that, it, it takes a snapshot from the disk. So that makes sure that, that the, the snapshot itself is consistent and that all the data has been written to disk uh, in consistent data structure form. Um, after taking the snapshot, you, that's it, you have performed your backup, you just unfreeze the file system and uh, unlock the database. So um, let me switch over to, the, um, to my terminal. Um, let's see, the, uh, let's get the instance ID that is running. Very well. Let's store it in, uh, in a variable. So um, that's that's uh, a normal EBS-based uh, instance. Uh, only a single volume is attached to it. Let's create another volume. I'm going to use EC2 create volume. I'm going to create it in the uh, US East 1A uh, zone, and I'm going to just create a one gigabyte volume since it's I don't really need much storage, but you know. You can you can make a 10 gig or 100 gig uh, volume if you need it to. So let's store the um, the volume ID as well. And let's see the status of the um, of the volume being created. As you can see, the previous status was creating, which means that the volume is still being created. Right now it's available, which means that we can start using it. So what we need to do is that we'll need to um, attach the volume to our instance. So I'm going to attach the volume as a device that is the H. Um, this should be the instance ID, so we use the variable, and this should be the volume, so we use our volume. Um, we go ahead and attach the disk. As you can see, my terminal window has two tabs, a local tab and an EC2 tab. Uh, I'm going to SSH to my instance in this other tab. So um, I'm going to copy the... Um, the public IP or the DNS name and SSH, uh, Ubuntu at that's public name. Yes. Let me start the screen. Let me check out that um, the disk has been created. Indeed, it has been created. As um, as the H, so it is. It is now uh, the disk is now attached to the uh, instance. Um, it is of course not formatted, um, so I'm going to run a script 
that will format and mount and move the uh, MySQL database onto that volume. So I'm going to switch now to my local um, instance. I'm going to copy over a script um, that will format and mount the, um, the EBS volume and then migrate the MySQL database onto that volume. So the script is called move MySQL to an XFS EBS shell, um, shell script, um, and we're going to move that onto Ubuntu at the public name in slash temp directory. Great. Um, I'm going to flip over to the uh, EC2 instance and let's check out the script quickly. Um, so um, basically what it does is that it installs the XFS file system. Um, what's nice about XFS is that you can freeze the file system uh, in order to take consistent snapshots. Um, it formats it as XFS, it then um, mounts um, the file system onto a directory called slash vol. It will stop the MySQL database, move a few directories around. Uh, these are MySQL database uh, directories, and then bind mount the MySQL directories from the, uh, from the volume back into their original location, and then start MySQL again. So basically what, what we're doing is that we're just formatting the EBS volume, moving over the data onto that volume, and then starting MySQL from there. So let's go ahead and uh, execute that script. Um, so it quickly installs XFS. I have closed recording for a moment there, and um, what we see is the, the script has finished, uh, finished executing, it has moved uh, and uh, bind mounted those directories, and MySQL has been started. So right now MySQL has been migrated to an XFS uh, EBS volume, and you know, as mentioned, the, uh, the advantage of that is that we can take consistent snapshots because XFS supports uh, freezing file systems. Um, So right now we're going to um, install the uh, EC2 consistent snapshot tool, and for that we only need um, one line. The tool is published in a PPA, the Elastic PPA, so we're going to add that repo and just update and that's going to install that tool. Um, As you can see, that's a lot of dependencies, but apt-get will take care of that. Very well. Um, the tool has been installed. So after installing the tool, the way to use it is, is quite simple. Um, I use sudo ec2 consistent snapshot, and then uh, the tool needs your Amazon credentials. So um, the Amazon Web Services access key ID, um, I'm just using some shell variables here, here so as not to show them uh, in the screencast, but you can just paste them on the secret key as well. Um, you tell the tool that you want, that you're using MySQL and that you want it to freeze it and flush it. And also you tell that the XFS file system is mounted under slash vol. And you tell it the volume ID um, of our ABS XFS volume. So what the tool does is that it will freeze the MySQL database and flush it, will freeze the file system. It will then take a, a snapshot of the, um, of the volume, a consistent snapshot, and then unfreeze the XFS uh, file system and the MySQL database. So just hitting enter, the process is, is, quite, uh, is quite fast, and the snapshot has been created. Let's flip over to the, um, to the web interface and um, under snapshots, um, if you refresh, you're going to find a snapshot created. So this snapshot is a consistent snapshot that contains your database. And in case you face any trouble or corruptions in your database, you can very simply um, revert to that snapshot. 
So I, I hope that was uh, helpful and easy enough. And um, let's see you again in another screencast.